Imagine a 100 foot long sea flower that can detach itself from its stalk and crawl away. No, it's not a special effect created for the latest Hollywood sci-fi adventure. This is just your everyday earth-dwelling crinoid. These ancient ocean creatures resemble beautiful underwater sea lilies in full bloom. But be careful, they are not really flowers. They just look that way as a clever disguise. What are crinoids? They look like aliens to the untrained human eye. They are brainless animals that learned how to swim. They are stomachless life forms that eat constantly, and they grow arms out of their sides five at a time. And they essentially tie everything on Earth together. Mass evolutionary events, dinosaurs, and even church traditions all share connections to these underwater sea creatures. These amazing facts about crinoids will make you wonder if they were beamed down or maybe beamed up into the depth of Earth oceans from some other planet entirely. Ocean creatures are amazingly deceptive. What you see isn't always what you get when you enter the deep. Crinoids might not change their shape, color, and texture like other mesmerizing sea creatures do, but their natural physique is still a camouflage of sorts. They were built to look like flowers, but are actually animals. Their closest relatives are urchins and starfish. Crinoid fossils are some of the most ancient finds known to mankind, with some remains dating back as far as 340 million years or more. Their fossils are currently regarded as the most antiquated linked to a specific type of animal. Present-day crinoids are classified as living fossils too. The two most recognizable crinoid forms are the feather star and the sea lily. Sea lilies have a flower-like appearance, complete with a stalk attached to the ocean floor. Feather stars look more like spinning, feather-covered octopi. Evolution has armed the feather star with some pretty nifty traits like toxicity and the ability to swim. Not all feather stars are toxic, but the ones that can protect themselves from predatory fish. When you picture a fish that looks like a flower, you might imagine a daisy. But you have to think bigger, much bigger. Each arm on a crinoid can grow to be about a foot long, and the longest fossilized crinoid on record was 130 feet tall. To put things into perspective, the giant squid maxes out at 43 feet. Other crinoids, however, can measure just centimeters long. On average, crinoids grow about 10 arms over their lifespan, using the limbs to catch their food. Some grow more, but always in multiples of 5. These arms are real scientific marvels. One fossilized crinoid, referred to as Himera crinus, possessed more than 80 feather-like arms. The Clarkson study of 1987 suggests that there are currently living crinoids with more than 200 arms floating around in the sea. The baffling crinoid body is comprised of only three parts. The stem, which attaches it to the ocean floor, the calyx, which is comparable to a face, except with an anus in place of a set of eyes, and the billowing, foot-gathering arms. So how can it swim? Scientists think that ability is thanks to evolution. Motion became necessary to escape predators. Crinoids who are missing arms might have shed them intentionally. Not only can they grow and lose arms at will, but they also have the mind-boggling ability to detach themselves from their own stalks and crawl away unaffected. There are downsides to having a body that's mainly made up of arms. Namely, crinoids' mouth and anus are located next to each other in an incomprehensible digestive system that looks pretty nightmarish up close. The only saving grace lies in the fact that the anal opening is usually covered by a plate-like dome. It makes sense that the bizarre crinoid thrived in an era 250 million years in the past. The Paleozoic era brought about some of the most marvelous sea creatures ever seen, although most of them did not survive the Permian extinction event that marked the end of the age. This didn't wipe out the crinoids completely, but there are significantly less of them around than there once were. Environmental changes that occurred over the course of hundreds of millions of years forced these marvelous creatures to undergo a process known as adaptive radiation, in which an animal rapidly diversifies their lineage. The process is tricky to pull off even once, yet crinoids have avoided mass extinction by surviving adaptive radiation twice. However, certain aspects of their lifestyles were altered in order to evolve in a sea of predaceous bony fishes. An inability to float above a depth of 100 meters in the sea is probably the most notable change, and it may have taken a significant toll on the crinoid population. That said, evidence suggests there are still about 600 crinoid species in existence. 
A 200 million year old relic uncovered in 2015 helped scientists discover that crinoids once served as hosts to two separate types of parasites. These parasites appeared to have fed off of them and protected them simultaneously for a hundred million years. Over the course of that time, the crinoids that were infested by parasites even grew spines as a direct result of the encounter.